Hey, Hofstra fans, welcome inside the WV Mason Coaches Report. Kerry Schreiber, joined by head coach of the Hofstra Pride softball team, Larissa Anderson. And coach, how's it going today? It's going really well. And now, of course, you're now named the head coach after being with the program for 13 seasons. How honored are you really to just get this promotion? Oh, I'm thrilled. I'm beyond ecstatic. I'm, I'm humbled. Um, I'm very proud. I'm very proud of this program. I was tremendously blessed working under Coach Edwards for 13 years. Um, he taught me a ton about the game and about Hofstra and, and you know how to treat our student athletes. So I'm very, very blessed. And what are some of those things that you learned working under Coach Edwards? What did what are you going to take from him and keep continuing doing with the team? I think the biggest thing is that winning is a byproduct of all the lifetime lessons that we're teaching here. Um, you know, we teach being disciplined, self-motivated, um, you know, great work ethic. And all those things that we put in, we, we only have control of the effort, you know. We, we really don't have control over the results, especially in our game, because you could have 15 hits and not score a single run, and, you know, the other team could have one hit and score just at the right time. Um, so we have no control over that. We only have control over the effort that we put in. And you also have a new coaching staff with you. What can you tell us just about some of the new coaches? It's been great. You know, you have Julie Meyer, who played at Cal Berkeley, um, tremendous playing career, played in the World Series, was in uh, four NCAA regionals, three Super Regionals, so she has tremendous experience as a player, um, coaching at Memphis and also Ole Miss, so she's coached at a very, very high level um, in Conference USA and, and the SEC, so she's bringing a wealth of information and a wealth of knowledge. Uh, Caitlin Den, playing at a very high level in the ACC at NC State, Again, you know, it's, it's great to get these, these former players that played in other conferences, um, coached in other conferences, to bring in more information so we can just make our players better. And then this past week, we were able to um, bring out Brittany Garvey, who played at South Florida, I actually played against her when we were Super Regionals, and uh, she was on their coaching staff last year when we played them, so it's nice to have her on staff, too. And now, just looking, Coach Edwards used to do a lot defensively with the team. So how are you going to get the coaching staff on the same page uh, with the defense? And he does. And, and nothing really is changing in terms of what we're doing here. Um, it's getting our staff to, to try to learn the verbiage. Um, and at the same time, it's really not, it's not anything new. Um, it's just having them learn what we do here at Hofstra, because there is a Hofstra way. And it's just getting them to, to understand what we call it, um, how we apply it into our system, and also having them bring in some new ideas and new ways to maybe teach because it's not it's not new ways to teach it might be a new way to say it and it's the same skill so so having three new people on staff um, you know gives us three different ways we might be able to teach the same skill so it's just getting them up to speed with um, different things that we might do in terms of terminology in, in our system and, and they've been you know very receptive and there definitely is a hostile way you guys entering 2014 had 22 consecutive regular season or conference tournament wins. How do you guys just continue that legacy now? That's the standard that's been set, and it will be set here for eternity, and it's been set by the alumni that played here before. That will never change. Um, the players that come into this program know that that's what they want to be a part of, and, that, and that's what they're here to do. They're here, here to win championships. Um, so that they, they just go out every day, and then, like I said before, they're, they only the standard is based on their effort. So every single day, every single rep, they've held themselves to a very high standard. So I don't have to, you know, constantly get on them on try to give more because they're they're doing it amongst themselves. We have a great veteran class, a lot of experience, and our freshmen have been tremendous, you know, buying into what we're trying to do here. And then we'll get into the freshmen and the seniors and everyone else on the team after, but looking at last year, how the season ended, you guys fell to Texas A&M. What's the conversation that happened during the off season to prepare you guys now for the season? We don't even talk about it. We, we don't even address it with the team. Um, they know. They know the past. Um, I don't have to bring it up. I don't have to remind them. But every day, we just we evaluate ourselves that day. And we're only evaluating Hofstra softball. We don't care who we play. Um, every day, and this is what I keep telling the team, is that we've set our standard. We know our level of play that we have to play at and that we've practiced at. So we're evaluating every day that we're at that level. So it doesn't matter who we're playing, if it's LSU, James Madison, um, you know, Ryder, it doesn't matter who we're playing. It's that standard that we're setting the team that they have to play at every single day. And now uh, you mentioned the freshmen before. So with some of the freshmen uh, coming in this year, what roles are you really looking for them to fill? I want them to compete right away. We have unbelievable depth. 
Um, everyone can play at this level, and I want them to compete every single day. And at any time, they can be called upon. Um, some are competing for a starting position. Some are going to be great role players. But every day, everybody's competing to get on that field. Um, and it's great because the freshmen are pushing our upperclassmen. Um, they're, conti <coughs> excuse me, they're continually competing um, to push each other because they know they want to play at the highest level. So it's been awesome. Um, you know, they're competing, they're buying in, they know what's expected of them. Um, their teammates, the upperclassmen, are doing an unbelievable job molding the underclassmen. And it's one of those things that, you know, it's not just about this year, it's about the program, you know, over a long term. So then the seniors know that the mentoring that they do with the freshmen is going to impact the program for the next four years. So they're doing an unbelievable job, you know, maturing them. I know you've worked a lot with the pitchers over your years here, and you have Taylor Perone and Maureen Lashley coming back. So what else do you see from the pitching rotation? Can you give us a little bit of a sense of who's going to be in? Just past Slack, who did not get a lot of playing time last year, has really, really grown into her role. Um, she's worked so hard over the last year, um, with, did a great job in the offseason preparing herself, and she's really elevated her game. I'm seeing great things out of her in practice. Um, she's, she's throwing the ball a lot harder, she's got better command, um, but she's moving the ball a lot more than she has in the past. So I, I expect her to get a lot more playing time. And then we're working on uh, Nicolette Michalowski, who's a freshman, her sister played here um, quite a while ago. And um, she's working into that pitching role that we're going to have to rely on her down the road, um, you know, in a year or two. So we're developing her right now. She throws hard. Um, she's got to spin it a little bit more um, to be able to play at this level, but uh, she's working very hard, and, and hopefully I can get some playing time out of her, too. So then you guys just take on your first, you have your first opening weekend this weekend with LSU Invitational. So what are you looking to see from the team in their first weekend? I know it's early in the season, mm -hmm. but what do you want to accomplish? I want them to compete every pitch. You know, it, it, and again, it doesn't matter who we're playing down there, Central Arkansas, LSU, Notre Dame. Um, I want them to compete on every single pitch. You know, playing that, that that pitch at that moment is the most important pitch that they're going to play. Um, and that they do that for five games while we're down there. Um, it's going to be our first time outside. Our outfield hasn't seen any fly balls, you know, with a blue sky. Um, we've been in the bubble and we've been inside our gym. So it's going to take a little adjustment. And it takes some time with the eyes, you know, to get used to because it's in a different atmosphere. So I just hope we can make that adjustment quickly. Um, because I, I expect that there is going to be an adjustment. And at the same time, everything we've done... Um, inside has prepared us to be able to be competitive while we're down there. So I just, I want them to compete on every single pitch. Um, don't give in. You just keep working hard and fight through it. All right, well, enjoy the bright, sunny skies. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> and thanks again, Coach. Thank and you. This is the WV Mason Coaches.